How's it going? Chris Denner here. Welcome to Chris Denner is not a robot. And today I'm going to be talking about this image. With me as always is Indy. Um, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things to photograph, confetti. I love confetti. A lot of my couples speak to me about the confetti in their weddings. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. But first, a little bit of housekeeping. You may notice that the audio quality of this video is hopefully a lot better. That's because I finally got a mic. Um, a lot of people were contacting me telling me that they loved the content, but the room was too boomy, it was too echoey. Um, so I listened to what they said, bought some mics, and you know what? I just could not get them to work. They were driving me mad until I sought some advice from fellow professionals and realized that I was actually putting the microphone lead in the wrong hole. Yeah, yeah, I was putting it into the uh, headphone jack rather than the microphone jack on the camera. So, I mean, you know, there's jokes to be made about wrong holes. I'm not going to make them. That's the lowest hanging fruit. I'm not going to make jokes like that. But yeah, um, hopefully now this sounds a lot, lot better. So today we're going to be talking about this image. Today we're talking about confetti. Um, flying at the screen right now at the speed of confetti is lots of confetti photos. Um, the key to confetti photos for me, like the other videos on my channel, link at the end to watch them, is it always has to be in service of the photo. It can't just be confetti for confetti's sake. Um, for me, I always enjoy the intimacy and relationship between a couple. The confetti is just the icing on the cake. So this image, created with a lovely couple called Justine and Jack at the Mill Barns. So what we'd actually done in the run up to the wedding, we discussed it quite a lot um, in regards to the confetti we wanted to do. We'd spoke about it and we decided that we were just gonna buy lots and lots and lots. Justine and Jack are thespians. They're very, very outgoing. They're very loud and brash. And I knew that the confetti would translate incredibly well with them and their personalities. So in the run up to the wedding, we'd actually spoke about all the different types of confetti that we could do. Um, there's lots of different type of confetti photos you can get and one thing I'm trying to do with my clients is to educate them that there isn't just one kind of confetti photo, there isn't just the one shot you get, there's lots and lots of different things you can do with confetti, like you can do the confetti tunnel. You can do the confetti where if you've only got a few members at the wedding, maybe it's a micro wedding or a more intimate or destination wedding, you get the people the bridal party behind the couple, the couple kissing, a photo like this. And the other alternative again is to invest in some confetti cannons which are awesome um, and those photos will look like this. So this specific image was created like I said with Justine and Jack. Um, one of the things I wanted to do with this specific image was to get them looking at each other, the interaction between them. They'd only been married about eight minutes by this point they'd walked up the aisle, they'd walked out onto the veranda, we knew already what we wanted to do so I'd already briefed the couple out, I'd already briefed the bridal party out, we had everything ready um, ready for us and all that happened was the couple turned to each other, all the bridal party behind them just grabbed big boxes of confetti, I got the couple nice and close, I got in really close as well, the thing for me with confetti, I like to be in it, I like to be covered in confetti so I'm shooting this on a 25mm um, lens, I'm really close to the couple and I'm shouting three, two, one. At that point, my finger is like bum, 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 as the bridal party just boom explodes everywhere. As you can see, it's very, very effective when there's so much confetti flying everywhere. It has a sense of drama, it's brash, and it just looks lovely. I always think that these are great for thank you cards. These are great social media posts for couples. You've just got married, you wanna celebrate. For me, it's one of the most iconic just got married photos that you can do. I always say another tip as well with confetti, buy more than you need. It's better to have big handfuls of confetti than little thimbles. Another thing, a tip that I would advise you to do is if you are gonna do a confetti tunnel like this, is to have it, all the guests with the confetti in their hands, hands up like this, and they throw up, not at. It's got to go up in the air, not at. What we don't want to see as photographers is people being hit with confetti. What we want to see is confetti going up 
and falling down. And what we also want to see is people's arms in the air as well. There's nothing worse, as you can see like this, than lots and lots of people's hands just getting in the way of all that gorgeous expressions. Uh, there's nothing more that pees me off than when couples are walking down the confetti tunnel and you get the really over enthusiastic guests that just want to jump in front of me, start bombarding the couple with confetti because they think it's hilarious, but they don't realize that I'm two foot behind them. To me, these are timeless. These are timeless. These are kind of images that I look back on and I still have a huge smile on my face when I look at them. But don't just take my word for it. Um, I was able to get hold of Justine and Jack um, and speak to them personally and told them that I was going to be doing this video and they actually sent me this little message. So here's Justine and Jack. Hello, I'm Jack and this is Justine. AKA Mr and Mrs Andrew. The couple from this photograph. <laughs> Courtesy of Artisan X Photography. Woo -woo 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 -woo. <laughs> uh, we first met Chris at a wedding show a couple of years before our wedding actually, wasn't it? Um, we'd just gone to gauge ideas um, and get some inspiration. We genuinely didn't go with any intention to book anything, no. especially a photographer. I went for the free cake. <laughs> uh, but as soon as we met Chris, we were like, he's our guy, we have to book him. We just clicked instantly. He's really fun, he was really confident, really Full professional. Of Full of bands. Full of tattoos. Really cool. Really handsome. <laughs> Just like you. We Did bought you? buckets and buckets and buckets <laughs> of confetti, cannons, the works. Uh, fast forward to the wedding day, uh, we had all of our bride party behind us, uh, two handfuls each, big handfuls, um, and they launched it after Chris said. Uh, Three, two, one. Woo! In the air. And at first I thought it hadn't worked because uh, I didn't see any confetti. And then a second later... <laughs> It just rained <laughs> from the sky of confetti. Uh, it was just perfectly timed. Chris guided the entire thing. Yeah. Um, it was just, it was seamless. Uh, <laughs> but Chris, he's amazing. We love you, Chris. See you. So there you go. Justine and Jack, straight from the horse's mouth, as it were. Um, this image for me is one of my all-time favourites. I love all my couples. I love most of my images. Um, but this one's really got a nice special place for me. Not needless because... In uh, November, as many of you know, I was actually awarded Europe's best wedding photograph at the Way Up North International Photography um, Convention. As you can see, I like to get nice and close. It's on a 25mm lens. That, to me, is where the action is. Um, sometimes if I'm doing a, a confetti tunnel and it's quite crowded and there's lots and lots of people, I like to use an 80mm lens. I like to be all the way back and I'm just zooming straight into the couple. Personally, it's one of my favourite parts of the day. It really is a highlight that I like to photograph. So there's your guide to confetti. I hope you enjoyed that. Next episode is going to be something that a lot of people have been touching on and been asking for. And I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to talk about it. It's sparklers. It's this photo. So don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, do leave a comment down below. I mean, I mean, I know it's a really like douchebag, stinker YouTube thing to say, but please do leave a comment. Let me know if you're digging what I'm doing. If you think it's crap, just say it's crap. If you don't like, I don't know, the color of my wallpaper, just let me know. And I'll try and, well, I can't fix the wallpaper because I quite like the wallpaper, but just let me know. Your feedback is important. Subscribe, like, share. I'll see you soon for sparklers. Take care.